Assalamualaikum everyone. How are you? I hope that you guys are doing great. So my name is Anas Bilal and today I'm gonna make a video about Conowingo Dam. And I'm right now I'm standing at a at a Conowingo Fisherman Park where a lot of people come and do fishing. And I'm gonna show you some pictures how they do. And I will take you guys down there as well and give you a closer look of a Conowingo Dam. So let's begin. Let's go. So like 30 minutes ago I was here and the weather was pretty sunny but as you can see right now it's very cloudy and kind of like rainy because there are so many clouds up there and they are covering the sun so it totally changed the weather like in, in, in 30 minutes. Alright guys here are some facts about Conowingo Dam. It is a Conowingo hydroelectric generating station that lies on a Susquehanna River. It was opened in 1928 after two years of construction. It is one of fourth dam that lies on Susquehanna River, such as York Haven, Safe Harbor, Hortwood, and Conowingo. Susquehanna River is 444 miles long and starts its way from Cooperstown of New York, makes its way through Pennsylvania and come down to Maryland, meets with Chesapeake Bay at the location of Heavy Grace. And it is the longest river at the east coast side of United States. Conowingo Dam has 53 flood control gates and 11 turbines that can generate up to 572 megawatts of pollution-free electricity. These gate holds a large reservoir on the other side of the dam and every day 25 billion gallons of water flows through these gates. Look at here guys, I see this dead catfish. I, I think someone probably caught it and left it here and it's been dead. As you can see, uh, uh, amazing red color flowers that adds up to the beauty of this dam. I noticed uh, two doors are open and letting the water flow. And there's another interesting fact about these gates. In the past, all 53 gates were opened in one time in 1936, second time in uh, 1972 for the Hurricane Agnes and last time in 2018 for the rising flood water due to the torrential downpours uh, in mid-Atlantic. Mid It is amazing that these fishermen are using this technique there. I mean, they pierce their fishing rods into the ground and they are letting it catch the fish itself. And I think there's a bell attached to it. Whenever any uh, fish get caught, it, whenever it moves, it uh, rings the bell and I mean, they run towards to catch it. It is interesting that uh, I see uh, people from all over the world. Yeah. Like I see people from probably from Bangladesh, from India, and probably from Pakistan, and obviously from United States, from different states. They are gathered here and having a good time and having fishing. So it's, it's I mean, it's good to see that. Um, I believe that these fishermen over here, they are aiming for deep water fish and looking for a big catch. I, that's what I understand. Mashallah, I'm happy to see this person taking a time out for his prayer. I mean, it's good to see a person um, giving importance to his faith. Guys, stick with me. I'll take you a few moments back and there's uh, still a lot of stuff to see in this video.
right, it's a huge size. I mean, it's yes, a very good, pretty size. Yeah. All right, thanks for showing that. Yeah. So these are all catfish. Yep. So let's go downhill. This brother over here caught um, one fish. something I'm not sure what they're eating it seems like they're eating their own kind I think it's this belcher that is dead and they're eating it okay here are some notices listed here and these are invasive catfish and I think it's talk about if you guys catch them keep it don't put it back in the river because they are harmful for the other fish just talk about minimum size limit at certain time of time of the year and and this is snake head fish this also need to be reported or killed if get seen and this is 2020 wildlife for the contest all right this is it guys so i'm going to end my video right here and i hope that if you guys come here you will definitely like this place because it has so much to see have the dam as uh, this park and you can if you are like you can do the fishing so you can come here and do the fishing here as well and there's like a pretty big size fish you can find here and mostly the catfish and also so i'm feeling a little hungry right now and uh, i'm going heading for the lunch and we are planning on going to moby dick and so we meet there and my next video is about the moby dick i hope that you guys enjoyed my video and i would like you to please subscribe my channel like my video share and comment assalamu alaikum take care